Hi everyone. In this video, you will learn how to get a protein PDB structure from Protein Data Bank. So, if we Google PDB, it will take us to the home page of Protein Data Bank, and let's go to discover what's happening there. This is a protein database that contains most of the crystallized proteins and nucleic acid structures that are crystallized mainly by two approaches, X-ray diffraction method and NMR spectroscopy. And here, the search box, you can search by different methods, but the most common method is to have the PDB ID of the structure. PDB ID is the four letters that identify each structure in this database. For example, I used to work with a lipase, which has a PDB ID 2W22, and we go for search, and it will give me bacterial lipase structure, and it will give me different information about this protein. Classification, hydrolase enzyme, the organism, the expression system, if you want to clone this enzyme and express it in a different expression system or in the same expression system and the date of depositing the structure in database and the people who crystallize the structures and their article which usually contains the structural features of this of this enzyme and here is a snapshot from the 3d structure and you can also find other information like number of chains sequence lens, here we have 389 amino acids and the organisms, and whether there are mutations in the structures or not. And also you can find the small molecules that are in the structure. For example, in this protein we have two metal ions, which are critically important to the structure. If you're going to perform different computational studies, so you have to check the numbers of metals in this structure. And also we have here the substrate and a detergent or another molecule from where it was crystallized during the, the, the crystallization process. And here we can find the sequence details. For example, if we go for sequence, you can find the percent of helical structure, the beta sheets, number of residues that represent the helical structure, etc and sequence similarity and structure similarity and you can go for the experiment used to crystallize this protein in this case we have x-ray diffraction you can find the the conditions for experimental crystallization of this protein if you're interested in crystallization but if you are interested in computational stuff, you want only the PDB structure to do some calculations, to run simulation. So you will get back to the structure summary, the main page, and you say download files, and you say PDB format. And here we are. We have got our structure. Thank you.